ואולטרנטיב דיג טוק. real issues, real talk. היי רוג'ס, can I ask you something? שוט. מה זה קורפשן מין? וואי, סמארילי, קורפשן זה אביז של פאבליק פאוור for personal gain, או for the benefit of a group to which one owes the legends. For example, when a public office is abused by an official accepting or soliciting a bribe. By the way, private people can be corrupt too, like bribing police officers to escape fines. Mm, okay, so exactly how does that concern me? <laughs> well, do you pay taxes? I guess, yeah. What does that have to do with this? Everything. Because those taxes you pay are supposed to facilitate services you use, like water, electricity, roads construction, medicines and hospitals, name it. Hmm. Okay, that is much bigger than I thought, but it can be stopped, right? Well, yes it can, although it may not be as easy as it sounds, and here is the reason why. Corruption roots are grounded in our country's social, political, economic, bureaucratic traditions and policies. So, what has kept it going this long? I mean, why don't we stop it? Well, the main reason why it has been here for so long is because institutions are weak, either as a result of poorly defined ethical standards of public service, weak administrative and financial systems, or ineffective watchdog agencies. Hmm. What can we do to stop it? Um, at a national level, we must focus on strengthening the independence and effectiveness of public institutions that fight corruption. At a personal level, We must commit to never giving a bribe. I promise I'll never give a bribe. Well, that's a great decision you have made. Me and you now have to spread this message to all our friends. If we all do our part, corruption will be no more. This message is brought to you by Alternative Digitalk. אלטרנטיב דיג טוק. ריל אישוז. ריל טוק. גוד מורנינג, אור ויוארס. תודה רבה על שאתם מבינים את זה. אני תומסי מקאטו. Uh, coming to you live on the alternative Uganda Facebook pages, DigTok TV Facebook pages, and later alone our shows are uploaded on our YouTube channel, The Alternative Uganda. You're most welcome to this show, uh, and I hope this will be an interesting and educative show, and I wish you to also join the discussion, send in your comments, ask questions, and we shall be able to answer. Uh, yesterday we had a number of bills, assented to by the president, or the president signed a number of bills now in Turo. And the most catchy one, I think, that has caught the attention of so many people is the Anti-Homosexuality Bill, which is now the Anti-Homosexuality Act 2023. And I want to, if I can call my colleague in to say hello, I think I should first give him an opportunity to say hello to the viewers and introduce himself, then we can talk briefly about this act and then we can go to the topic of discussion. You're most welcome, Council Anatoly. Thank you. Yes. Uh, my name is Anatoly Munyawera. I am a lawyer by training and I'm happy to be here. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so and much. Good, good afternoon to the viewers. Yes, you're most welcome to this show, the Alternative Digi Talk. And uh, in the Anti-Homosexuality Act, I want us to look at uh, some penalties the person convicted of aggravated homosexuality the penalty is death person who commits the offense of homosexuality 20 years imprisonment person convicted of promotion of homosexuality 20 years among so many what is your take about this new act council anatoly uh well uh, i want to declare my interest first <laughs> i don't support the homosexuality thing but still I don't think it is proper to to regulate or harass those who wish to do the same uh, first of all uh, at this point I don't think we need this law 
uh, homosexuality is a relationship, like any other relationship about love and so on. Mm. Uh, so you have talked about the punishments. Yes. The punishments from the, from the face of it, they are excessive. Mm. Because if you say uh, abbreviated uh, homosexuality, if someone is convicted then suffers death, uh, it is excessive. And I hope that one will be challenged successfully in the, in the constitutional court. Mm. Uh, two, you, you have to look at the, you have to look at the, the enforcement. Yes, it is okay. now the law, mm. but now the enforcement is hard. Okay. Yes. I entirely agree with you on yes, its because enforcement. It is, so homosexuality is a sexual offense. It is, it is a, a sexual act. It is an act of, it is the word of a victim against the word the of word an accused person. And it is, it will basically be hard for the state machinery to enforce it. <laughs> and uh, I, 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 I pray that the petition that has come through can be successful. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, our viewers, among the other bills that were sent to yesterday, we have uh, the Homosexuality Bill 2023, the Museums and Monuments Bill 2022, the Public Health Amendment Bill 2022, the Markets Bill 2022, the Microfinance Deposits Taking Institution Amendment Bill 2022, and the Reform Miscellaneous Amendment Act of 2023. But today our topical discussion is not related to those bills. But we want to entirely look at the Succession Act. And under the Succession Act, uh, we shall be looking at the management and the administration of the estates. And council will be guiding us in so many ways. How do we deal with estates of the people who die in tested, of the people who die tested? People who die when they have made wills and people who die when they have not made wills. And I want to start from this council. and. Uh, you will help me guide the viewers out there. When we talk about administration of estates, first of all, uh, what do we mean when we say estates? Uh, estates, if you say, if an estate, uh, maybe to, to, to make it better for the viewers, mm -hmm. an estate includes the movable and immovable properties of the deceased. Okay. Yes. But in the, in the, but in the villages, estates, they think it is on the land. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Hey, so you yes. can say what is included in those estates? Yes, you can have land, you can have buildings, you can have money on the account, you mm. can have uh, personal properties. Let's say you have jewelry, you have, uh, you have a shoe. You have, so you can pass it on to another person in a will. Okay. Yes. So we start with, I think, uh, administration of estates where a person dies tested or where he makes a will and arranges his property. How are such estates managed? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the process where a person makes a will, mm. it, that, that, it is called uh, tested, that a person dies leaving behind the will. Mm. And they are there are they are there are guidelines on, on the construction of a will. Okay. Yes, because uh, before we go there, I want us to first talk about uh, who is capable of making a will. Mm. So any person of sound mind and who has capacity, that is a person of uh, of age, it, it can make a above. will. Mm. Then another thing is that you must own property. You must have something to to be to quick give, or to, to give, out, to give out to in a way. Okay. So if you have if you have the capacity, you you have you have the mental health and you own and you, and you own property, then you can make a will and dispose of such property in that way. In that way. Okay. So when you when when someone is making a will, uh, one uh, in the will, because now we are looking at the administration. Yes. So in a will, the testator appoints all names, persons called executors. Mm. These are the these are the persons appointed and named in the in the will. 
to, to, to execute the terms of the will. Because by definition, a will can be defined as the last wishes of the deceased on how his property or her property should be dealt with okay. upon his death. Mm. Uh, yes, after uh, uh, then the executors are named. Uh, so these executors, at the, upon the death of this person, the testator, they don't assume office. They assume office as executors, but then they will have to take a step to go to court and acquire letters of probate. Okay. So letters of probate, it is is a grant, mm -hmm. is a grant of authority to administer the estate. Yes, it of the okay. yes. But their work, their work literally begins at the death of the testator. Mm. So it means yes. whether you are named. Uh, an executor in a will, before the person dies, you have no role to pray? Uh, yes, because mm. the will takes effect upon death. Mm. Yes. So even those people who are keeping their wills, they are not effective at the time? No, they are cannot be effective. A mm. will is effective upon death of the maker. Does it mean that uh, before the demise or the death of this person who made the will, mm. and maybe some of things change and they feel Mm, I give this land to my son, maybe I should take it away from him. Mm. Do they have that capacity and power to alter and change their wills? Uh, yes. Uh, a testator has the power or has the, the, has the right or capacity to mm. alter the will, either by adding, including, or destroying it mm. as in the, during the lifetime of the maker. Okay. So if I make a will and then in the process I change my mind, I have a right to do that. Mm. If, if then, if uh, I don't want to change the entire will, then there is another document called the code seal. Okay. So the a code seal contains the alterations, the modifications. It would something like a supplement. It is which just is, adding on. on uh, what yes, you adding on what you have already. Because you can actually acquire some, some property after the making of the will. Okay. Uh, yes. So you, uh, there, when you make an alteration, it has to be considered at the time of, you know, dispo uh, at the time of, of, of bringing the will, maybe reading it to the concerned people, it uh, must be considered as well. Yes, it must be considered because when you make a supplementary, which, which they call a code seal, it forms part of the original will. Okay. Yes. So if, let's say, if there is uh, an alteration, uh, the alterations in the in the code seal, they take precedent. Mm. Yes, over the original. Over will. the original will. Yes. Okay. So if if in the original will I say I give my son X this property, and in the code seal I say is not given the property, so the code seal takes precedent. Yes. Is considered first. Yes, considered first. Okay. We have had challenges where a number of wills are presented uh, at the funeral services of people. This one says this is the original will, this one says this is the original will. How do we consider and determine that a document presented to us is the original and the other one is it? Uh, that is quite, uh, quite difficult for, for, the, for the people in the village mm. because uh, when you're proving the, the authenticity or the contents of a will, you, you use the, the rules guiding uh, do, uh, rules, pro, uh, rules in documentary evidence. Okay. So how to determine uh, the, the, that the document is valid. So you use the same rules. One, uh, a will must express the intention of the maker. Okay. Uh, then there is an aspect of uh, attestation mm. that a will must be witnessed. Okay. Yes, a will must be witnessed. The witnesses must sign on each page of the of the will. So it is quite hard to to. Then there the are things you can use. Then it must be signed. Uh, probably you can see you can co co uh, 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 compare it with other documents that have ever been signed by the same person mm. to see whether the the, the sign is the same is the same. And basically, they are, you rely on the witnesses, those people who were present at the time the of time making, of the, making will. the will. So someone says, yes, I was there, this and this and this and this. Happened. So that's how we can differentiate and understand 
yeah. whether a document presented is the original will or not an original will. Uh, yes. Yes. And so uh, there are so many measures. Okay. And cancer on, on, on the same issue of, mm -hmm. of wills. In instances where a person maybe gives a property that does not belong to him in a way, mm. where does it leave, you know, the validity and the regard to that will? Uh, if, if in the process of making a will, someone includes a property that is not his or hers, mm. uh, it does not affect the entire will. Okay. Uh, there is a principle of severance. Mm. So, uh, uh, that part is severed. Okay. Is removed it's from removed the will. And removed. Yes, because it, 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 ca it cannot invalidate the entire will. Mm. So if, if I say I have given you 10 acres of land, but I don't take uh, on those 10 acres of land, that means it, it cannot take effect. That, that particular grant is, is, is void. It's void. Yes. But the rest of the will is. The rest of the will is, 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 valid. Yeah, is valid. Okay. Now, where the executor is named? Yes, please. And the will has been read, and maybe the witnesses confirm that this is the original will. Mm. Does the executor immediately take on, and, and actually, does he go with the uh, declarations made in the will? What happens to that after a person is named an executor in the will? Yeah, when that, after when the name, the person is named as an executor, uh, after there is uh, there is what they call intermediate acts. Okay. Uh, legally, that person should move court and obtain letters of property. Okay. So, but in the meantime, that person is doing some work relating to the estate. Those are intermediate acts. Okay. Uh, so he can do that, save for distributing the land or the property. You cannot distribute. Distribute. Cannot it. distribute my. But you can. Uh, uh, the auxiliary work, let's say the, pro the, 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 the process of acquiring the letters of probate, uh, trying to put the, 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 the estates together. So, but after the grant of the letters of probate, all those acts are validated. What you did before getting ah, them are validated. Yes. So are. upon the grant of the letters of probate, the executor, is, is presumed to have started working at the death of After the, the death maker. of yes. the will maker. Yes. Okay. Mm. So, the executor gets the letters of probate. Yes. What does he do with the will? Does he keep it at his home? Uh, no. What happens thereafter? Uh, the, 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 in the new amendment, yes. they are given two years. Two years. Uh, the duty of the executor is basically to uh, 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 to implement the terms of the will. Mm. So this includes uh, 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 distributing the property to the beneficiaries, uh, uh, paying debts of the, uh, that are good when, yes. Then uh, um, also uh, recovering debts mm. uh, owed to the estate, all that work is done by executor. So he's, he's not, he's, uh, yes, he's named as a legal owner of the property as an as executor, but he does not own that property. He's just there to, to execute the terms. If they have said, give this part to X, then give that part to, give X. It to X. Yes. So because then, and then they, ha they will have to, to, to repose to court, what they call a, a, to, 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 to furnish an inventory. So an inventory is, is, is a, a statutory obligation that since you are executor, then within six months, uh, according to Section 278 of the Succession Act, uh, within six months, you have to, 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 to file an inventory. To give of, an accountability. Yes, an accountability. Mm. How much assets, then the dates, and so on. Mm. You have to file them in court. As, a, as an obligation. So does that mean that after the distribution and making true the words named by the uh, deceased person in the will, the duty of the executor lapses or he, uh, or he continues to be the executor? Uh, no, if, if all the terms of the will have been uh, executed, mm. 
hundred uh, percent. Uh, then you 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 cannot be an executor of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you cannot be an executor of nothing. But after that, you will also have to go back to, to court. Yes. Because the, the, the letters of probate are not for life. Mm. Yes, they they, yes after that. executing the duties, then they lapse, then you, you, you tell court, this and this and this has happened, and then you give the true account okay. of what transpired. Now that is about uh, administration of estates in tested succession, where a person dies and leaves away. Yes. That's how the property is managed, and at the end of the distribution of the property, an inventory is filed, then a person moves God, and that's the end of the duty of the executor. Now we shall move to administration of estates under intestate succession, or where mm. a person dies without making a will. Mm. And then you will also highlight on how that property is handled. Uh, yes. Uh in the process where a person dies without a will, it is the most complicated. Mm. Yeah, it is the most complicated, <coughs> and uh, there is there is lack of information about the same. Okay. Actually, where there is no will, you will find there are difficulties in families about the sharing of the property, and 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 so on. Uh, so where the where in the process where a will is is is, is not made the intestate situation, uh, the, the, the now in the, the other side we had executors. Yes. So here we shall have administrators. Administrators. Yes, we shall have administrators. Uh, when a person dies and uh, there, is a, there is an entire office of the administrator general, mm. yes, which is uh, uh, with the with, with the, uh, a seal and the corporate name and and the perpetual succession, so they have delegates. Mm. So when someone dies, so that person at the Gomborora or or parish yes. informs the the the, the administrator general. general. So, but before informing him, they first, he first ascertains whether this person lives property in Uganda. Okay. Yes. So, uh, then. That is probably uh, it is uh, uh, basically uh, uh, governed by the Administrator General's Act. Mm. Yes. So, but there are, there is what they call. Uh, but this person who dies without a will has uh, uh, relatives or has descendants. Let's say the lineal descendants has a spouse. Mm. Uh, so the spouse. Uh, the spouse takes preference okay. when the, uh, for the administration of the estate of the deceased. So how does it work? Mm. So the, the, the wife, the surviving spouse, either wife or husband, oh, husband. is file a, a, a petitions court. You move court by petition, the, uh, petitions court for the grant of letters of administration. Mm. The other one was letters of probate. Of probate. Now here, so here we have is letters, uh, of, letters of administration. So those, uh, basically, because if we look at uh, who may obtain the letters of administration, mm. you look at the uh, uh, surviving spouse, you look at the renewed descendants, those are probably the, the biological children. Uh, then, then you look at the administrator general because where all those people are not present, then the administrator, the administrator general, general can obtain the letters. Can obtain the letters of administration. Mm. So and the, and the same happens. So but the uh, uh, the unique the unique part of the the interstate succession is that the land or property or estate is going to be shared not basing on the wishes of the deceased. Mm. In this case, there are no wishes. Okay. So what happens? <coughs> mm. How is it divided? How is now? it divided? So if you see section 27 of the Succession Act, uh, the amendment, mm. uh, it gives you the percentage. proportion, the percentage. So it will tell you the surviving spouse takes 20%, 
the linear descendant takes 75, then the dependent relative takes 4, and the customer here takes 1. Mm. Uh, uh, the, the customer here is, is one that is uh, appointed according to the rights or customs of a certain society. Okay. Then the dependent relative is this person who has who derives his or her livelihood uh, substantially from the deceased. From the deceased person. Yes. Mm. So that is how it is. It is. It is. Uh, it, is it is divided. Mm. Uh, but they are difficult. Then there is also an aspect of uh, of involving uh, uh, residential holding in the, in the, in the either in the party. will or being divided mm -hmm. because you find most of the people are fighting over that land what would be the, the residential holding so that one cannot be included in the in the in the la, in the will neither can it be divided, divided in, yes. in the in, in the will in the intestate it it goes to the uh, surviving spouse okay. entirely and then the other side it also goes to the, uh, to the, the surviving, surviving spouse, spouse, and even that person cannot make a will and include it. Mm. Uh, yes. So a residential holding is is, is a, like a residential is like residence, uh, uh, where the person resides ordinarily with the family, and maybe where they they live uh, livelihood. There is a banana plantation, uh, so a child knows I go there and pick matoke. There is a uh, there are rentals around, and they say so. If that const all that constitutes a, a residential holding. Okay, uh, I want you to also talk about the issues where the property of uh, of, of the deceased is not ascertained, and later maybe after the distribution of the percentage, a certain portion is later on recovered. How is mm. it dealt with? Uh, it is uh, if if they divide the, the estate, and then uh, uh, there is uh, there is what they call uh, uh, division of the of the people of the same class. Mm. So they are people naturally who are entitled to a share. Okay. The, so they are the people of the same class, the lineal descendants, and and so on. So if, if it is discovered, then there is that class hmm. in, in equal shares. That's how it's divided. Yeah. Okay. So uh, our viewers, we are looking at how administration of estates is managed under both tested and intested succession. And council is guiding us on how we deal with such property. And my question now here will go to uh, how can somebody obtain the letters of administration? We are talking about intestate. Is yes. that process, and I know our viewers are very not used to how it is obtained. Mm. Mm. You can guide uh, the viewers on that. The process of obtaining letters of administration, uh, one, is by petitioning court of okay. competent jurisdiction. Mm. So. Then, so what is considered to determine the jurisdiction? The, this it is, uh, it is, it, it is the uh, the monetary value of the estate. Mm. Yes. The size. This not the size, the value, because it can be big with less value. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. So that determines jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. So you petition court, but then you must give notice to the administrator general. Okay. So you must carry that notice. So where did administrator general say gives no obje objection? So you carry that no objection to court to say the administrator general is not interested. Mm. Or where the administrator general thinks the applicant is fit. Okay. Uh, so then the letters of administration can be granted to more than one person. Mm. Can be, you can and you can administer the the. the the estate jointly or one at a time, depending on the on the on the letters. <coughs> mm. uh, then, uh, then the, the court looks into the the fitness. 
the the and the most the most suitable person. Let's say if if, if the the applicants are many, then they look at the fitness. Okay. This the most suitable person mm -hmm. because whatever they should do, it should be in the best interest of the estate. Mm -hmm. So they see the most suitable person. And when it is the, to, to, the, to the satisfaction of court that so and so is fit, then letters of administration are granted to that person. Mm. Yes. Do, do we have instances where people, the members of the family or the beneficiaries, think that the person may be being selected or, or looked at as the administrator is not fit? Can uh, yes. they make objections? Yes. Mm. Yes. So you... you you would find that the, the members of the family, they think this person, the applicant, is not fit to be the, the administrator. So they can lodge an objection, mm. or they can put a caveat. Caveat. Yes. Uh, so then, uh, that can happen. Okay. See, so and so <coughs> is not fit for the, for, uh, to be, to be the, the, the the administrator of the estate. So that can be done during the application and it can also be done after the grant of the letters of administration. Mm. So after the grant and someone thinks so and so is not fit or has misused the, 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 the letter or the property, so uh, uh, someone, even court, on its motion or any other person, uh, a beneficiary, can, uh, can go to court for revocation of such letters of administration. of administration. So where a person is granted the letters of administration, how long do they take in existence or valid? How long is their validity? And how are they supposed to use those letters? Uh, after obtaining the letters of administration, they are, they are supposed to basically to distribute the, the estate mm. to, the, to the beneficiaries. Okay. And so in, within six months, you have also to, to, to file an inventory, like in the other case of, of the state. Mm -hmm. So they have two years <coughs> to, to do all that work. Okay. But that, that, that time can be extended by more two years if court thinks fit, mm -hmm. where, where there is a just cause okay. to, to extend the time. Mm -hmm. So they have two years to, to, to deal with the property as it is mentioned in the letters of administration. Mm. In so many instances, council in villages, people are not even concerned about appointing the administrators of the estates of the deceased. And at the end of it all, they sit ordinarily in the village setup or at the community level and divide the land according as they wish. Is it <laughs> illegal? Is it uh, unlawful? How is that kind of... Uh, that is the that. that is the common practice, mm. uh, but uh, you, you cannot say it is rigo or rigo. Mm. So the issues come in when there is a dispute. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if there is division at the family level and there is no dispute, then it is considered okay. Mm. But when there is a dispute, probably. Uh, uh, the share to, to, uh, to how much one should have gotten. So at that point, that's where they, they now you think you, 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 but if when there is no contention, it is okay. Actually, that person who takes a share takes a good title. Mm. But when there is a dispute, when there is a dispute, then you have to go to court. Then now court goes court goes through the process of uh, of uh, of distribution of the estate uh, of, of a deceased person mm -hmm. who has not left the will. We have had instances as well where a person dies in testate and somebody gets the letters of administration and their name is registered on the title. Mm? Yes. Certificate of title in the land ownership. Mm. And in instances where this person has not distributed the property, do they have the capacity to deal with that land as if they are dealing with their personal property? Uh, no. Mm. Uh, an, a, a, an administrator is a legal representative of the deceased. Mm -hmm. uh, two, 
uh, true an administrator can be named on the certificate of title mm. but is only named on the certificate of title for purposes of dealing with the property uh, not in his own way okay. but the same way because now the the assumption is they are dealing in the property the same way that the, the deceased will have dealt with the land, the land okay. so yes you can be you can <coughs> excuse me <coughs> you can be named on the title but you cannot transfer that title title to another person yes. unless you have the, the the express consent of the beneficiaries mm. so you you are the legal owner because literally the administrator has no uh, 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 registerable interest in that property. So your duty is to, to distribute the property and so on. So it is not your property. You are actually holding that property in trust of the, of the beneficiaries. So after granting you the letters of administration, you are placed in the, in the position of, of a trustee. So breach of which, if you breach trust, then uh, uh, it is revoked and... And so we dealt with <coughs> under the rules. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so another instance is where the deceased person maybe had had no cash, liquid cash, mm -hmm. maybe to cater <coughs> for their funeral <coughs> services, maybe they had debts, mm -hmm. uh, maybe they had... Uh, runs in in banks and this now is the administrator in control of the property of the deceased how do they deal with uh, such kind of rights uh, <coughs> yes if if they are if the deceased left some debts mm. uh, probably if let's say their are costs probably the cost of the funeral and so on so the the the, the, the administrator should get those costs from the estate of the deceased, mm. yes, and pay the co the, the pay the creditors, uh, pay the costs involved in uh, in uh, in obtaining the letters of administration, and also has a duty to recover debts owed to the deceased. On their behalf. So all costs on their behalf, yes. So you have a right to to to, to pay the debts of the deceased, and these debts they. They have priority. Mm. Yes. So you, there is a priority. So you will have to pay the, the the funeral services. Then you have to pay the the costs of obtaining the letters of administration. Then other creditors as follow. Can also follow. Mm. And in instances where the deceased person had court cases pending, yes. maybe they had not been resolved at the time of mm. his or her death. Death. Uh, does the administrator also take on the cases? Yes, in the respect of the, the if the cases are in the respect of the estate. Mm. So the because the administrator is the legal representative of, yes, the, of deceased. the deceased. Mm. Yes. So, so if can, cases are related to land ownership, ah, yes. the cover they, of money. The cover of money the they, yes. So they will take on the, 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 the cases. They can apply to cost to be added as, as parties. Mm. As administrators, yes, as administrators, and yeah, they apply to court to be added as as administrators mm. or as parties to the suit. Mm. Yes. And in instances where the property of the deceased is being mm. maybe mishandled, misused, or taken up, what mm. what is the role of the administrator by, in such instances? By another by third party. By third parties. Yes, because now he's the legal owner, so he has to to take on actions or to to to. To institute uh, 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 civil suits to, to protect the land, because now is the is the, is the person with the, the the legal obligation to protect the land. So if someone is probably uh, misusing the or let's say encroaching on the land or there is a trespass, the 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 right person to go to court is the administrator, mm. and then the other parties can come below him. Come the spouse and those other people's interests but but he's the legal owner or the representative of the of the deceased person because okay. we have had administrators whom i should say are very stubborn mm. and they don't follow what the rules say 
especially in filing the inventories and making accountability mm. of the property of the deceased. How does the road deal with such people? Uh, if the administrator mishandles the property of the deceased, one, the beneficiaries, the, 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 uh, the first remedy is, is to go to court for revocation of the grant. Okay. So the beneficiaries should go to court and apply for the revocation of the of the of the grant, the letters of administration. And then, if if the misuse was for personal gain, mm. so that the administrator should make good of what is lost. Okay. So if I sell the estate of the deceased to take my children to school, then I must pay back mm. because I have used I have used the the. the the property of the, 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 the estate of the deceased for my personal gain. Not for the interest of the not beneficiaries. For, not for the beneficiaries. <coughs> so the, the best way is to revoke the to revoke the letters and then ask the other person to to refund or to make good of the loss. Mm. Yes. And in the several cases court has revoked the letters of the letters of administration in the in the case of Babumba versus Babumba. The letters of administration were we are revoked, and yes. Mm. So where the letters of administration are revoked, do we also go again through the processes of obtaining new letters of administration? Uh, uh, yes, when they are they, <coughs> because when they are revoked, then mm. another administrator must be appointed. Okay. Yes, uh, they have uh, probably in 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 an order. If this was a, was 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 a spouse, then who is the next in order? So you would find the new descendants and or where the data of administration were granted to more than one one person. One person. So if the data of administration are revoked for one person, then the second person in line uh, takes the data of administration. Okay, thank you so much, Council. Here. Uh, you have about two comments. One is uh, Tony Brea. Mm. <laughs> and he says something is not right. Da, da, da. So if, um, if you say homosexuality is a relationship like any other, then you need to wake up from your sleep. I don't think we are sleeping, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> but these are opinions of people. And people who are of sound mind, and I think we know what we are talking about. So don't take it in bad faith. No, I, I know. This was a fair comment. I know Tony is my OB. <laughs> so he's saying something <laughs> is not right. If you say homosexuality is like any other relationship. Mm. But we are talking about issues that is related to sexual offenses. Yes. I think that's why it came in. Uh, I think maybe to shed more light, <laughs> I said I, 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 uh, I don't support homosexuality. You see, homosexuality is much of, uh, of immorality. Yes, it's and the immorality. You see, when the national when the national law is dealing with the the the, the, the mischiefs, then the societies are dealing with the immorality, and it is not the only immorality in Uganda. Hmm. They have so many because I have seen things. most of the discussions are based on it is not uh, African, it is <coughs> it is not Uganda, it is not our thing. But we have done more things which are not ours. <laughs> so if, if, you, if you steal from the poor, is it, it is immoral. Mm. If you misuse public funds, is, it is immoral. And it is not an African culture. Yeah, yes, if, yeah, it is not African to steal from the poor or to misuse public funds. Mm. So that is the, I don't say they should go on and do it. And then <laughs> to enforce it, how do you enforce, enforce such, uh, such a relationship? Mm. For, for promotion, for promotion, they can be uh, they can be curtailed. Those ones promoting the publications and so on. But the two people, the two consenting adults, when they lock themselves inside and do something, you may not know. Mm. Maybe until if there is, I have heard there is an issue of money. Maybe if there is uh, a disagreement about the payment, so someone <laughs> would complain. Mm. But if there is if there is no disagreement, then the public may not know. So you are not going to enforce it. And mm -hmm. then in the criminal cases, the criminal justice system, there must be a complainant. So, uh, one of, so there must be a complainant, then 
<laughs> maybe probably goes to police, makes a statement, and then the investigation follows. And in this case, I don't see, I, I don't see a complainer. Mm. <laughs> this one yeah. says, Hero Council, to be honest, the administrator general thinks are tricky. Singam Binyonyura Murganda. I don't know whether Anatoly, you know, some Murganda, you could have. Uh, made it simpler, simpler uh, in Uganda, if you know. And if in you Uganda, can speak Uganda, about a few things that is I, to know I think uh, maybe about interstate. I think it is the most complicated. The most complicated. Mm. I am going to try. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, umuntu uh, bwafa gata kose chelamu gata wadi chwandi koche ya wandi kanti ebintu biyange. Uh, gunda rituala chino ona rituala chino. Uh, kati uh, umuntu yobu haba fude na inga alese vintu mu Uganda katu gambe nge taka nevi ntebilala nga ya vede semu Uganda. Uh, abe chika ebisele ebisinga abe chika batula ne wagamba gunda jakutuala chino gunda jakutuala chino ona tuale chino. Uh, <coughs> na ye eteka ediata deo uh, uh, pro, pro, proportion chichi omuntu chagenda okutwara mm. umukazi ne bamuwa uh, uh, 20% abana abana abava munda yo musajja bazara <laughs> abana bazara mm. ne batwara 15% uh, waliwo malaga baita customer here simanyo baye musika we chika oya atwara 1% Hmm. Kati na abantu na abana abalala omugenzi baba da arabirira ne batwala ne ne baba nga sibabe ababe bagendera mu renew descendants kati hmm. waloba na abana barabirira government bwa bataliwo obula mu bujja bakaru ah bujja bakaru era hmm. yes so kati uh, omuchala oba abana obo muntu yena a uh, a uh, 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 by beneficiary ye na. Mm. Asobo rogenda mu koti, koti ne muwa obu yinza, weba italiators of administration. Obu obu yinza ngabu, wada mburula bulu unji, weba gendo kukua tamee vintu vyo mugenzi. Mm. Yes. Kati ate, buwaba tali uo, obanga, wali uo mu, wali uo office ya government jaba ita administrator general's office. Mm. Kati bwe wala abantu mbana abantu wali uo munga alimu kusaba si mtu ukirivu uh, Talifiti ayinzo kukoze suobu bi evi ntu vio mgenzi Kati uo yomu uyo officer wa government na ya subolo kusaba leta zova administration ezo mm. Na izo ad, 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 adukanya evi ntu vio mgenzi Yes In each other Nebu wabanga tili ya vudeyo kwa apply inga for ah, those letters. Nebu wabanga ta vudeyo kuza apply inga. The, the, the estate again, is vested in the administration. Kubanga walu, kubanga walu umutasoguro kuro uvu echilamu. Mm. Na ina ata teka mu executors. Ok. Uvu umutu, umutu na kore echilamu, gamuri mu executors, ba executors neba musoko kufa. Uh, Uva, nga walu, uh, Nga te, teli muntu ye na asobolo kusabari ita zaba administration kati property estate ziba zivesti inga mu administrator general. Administrator general ya abaya no uvi inza kwevi evi inta. Kwevi evi inta. Yes. Now, I, I want you to also talk about issues where the witnesses of, of, of the will die before the will maker. Mm. What, how is that dealt with? Uh, all of them at the same time? It can take uh, years. But you uh, find but most of if, them. If they die before, uh, if, if the witnesses to the will die or predecease the, 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 the maker, mm. one, the maker has a right to either to, to, to redo the will and have new witnesses. Okay. Uh, yes. So that's the available. That is the available remedy. Mm. Okay, uh, I think we are almost coming to the close of the show, and uh, uh, no, I think this is okay. Uh,
Now, as we are almost coming to the close, I want you to also talk about the issue of uh, the issue of of the estates that are vested in the administrator general. Does he also follow the same procedures of filing inventories, of distributing the property, like the administrator does, or the administrator general is handled and, and dealt with differently? Uh, no. Mm. They, 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 they all go through the same procedure. Okay. They are all administrators. Mm. I guess. They, all, they also have to file an inventory and, and, and the true accounts of the, the estates of the deceased and so on. Mm. Yes, they they do the same job. Okay. It is the same duty. Mm. Even yeah. the distribution part. Yes, even the distribution. Mm. They must distribute according to, like the way the deceased would have distributed the same. Mm. Yes. Okay. So, uh, you know, so the uh, how long does the letters of administration take? Do they also expire at some point, like the letters of probate? Uh, that can that one is, is not express. Mm. Yeah, it is not express, but it must be reasonable time. Okay. They cannot give you letters of administration and you keep the, you keep them for twenty years. <laughs> the, 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 for the administrator general, it is not express, mm. uh, but it must be reasonable time. Okay. Yeah. So after the distribution of the property, the letters also expire. Yeah, they do. They like do I it. told you, you cannot administer nothing. Mm. After distributing the property of the deceased and so on, then you inform court. Uh, then the letters of administration lapse. There is nothing to administer okay. anymore. Okay. In instances where we have challenges and some of the beneficiaries are not satisfied with how the distribution was made, do they have any remedy or recourse? Uh, yes. Uh, there is there is a situation where uh, the deceased has not provided for the uh, for the for the persons he would have naturally provided for. Uh, let's say the children, the wife, and so on. Hmm. Uh, it is called uh, maintenance. Okay. That they have not provided for the maintenance of a wife or a child and so on. So that person goes to court, and then court orders for the provision of that person. Hmm. Yeah. When they, where there is, uh, uh, if, it is, if that person is a child, and then they will get the proceeds from the, the estate, take care of that person until that person is of age. Mm. Where, there is, where a person is, uh, has a mental problem, when that then at the cessation of that mental problem or when that person gets married. Mm. So, but court provides, uh, makes provision for those for people those if people. they are not provided for. Okay, then I will give you in about three or two minutes to say your final and concluding remarks today maybe advise the viewers out there? Uh, thank you. Hmm. I would advise the viewers out there to always seek legal advice. Hmm. If you own property, please, please endeavor to make wills and include all your property in the will. And that will must be, uh, must be witnessed at least by one. One of them must, be, might, must at least be a legal expert. Yeah, because after that, when, you're going, when our parents are long gone, it is us, the children, to suffer mm. about distribution take this. But if there is a will, it, 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 it becomes more smooth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so I would, I would appeal to the public to always consider making of wills as, as important as any other thing. Mm. Yeah, that is it. Okay, thank you so much, Council Anatoly, for sparing some time and to educate our viewers about the administration of estates and how they are dealt with. I think our viewers have been able to pick a leaf or one or two from this discussion. This show take actually brings knowledge on different issues and how things are run in this country. Matters of the law, matters of justice, and matters of order. These are this is the reason why we keep on bringing different people. And if you feel there is a field you are interested in knowing, you can always inbox us. You can hit my inbox, Twitter, Tumsimekato, Facebook, Tumsimekato, and then we can all you inbox the Alternative Uganda Direct, uh, the Alternative Uganda on Facebook, 
YouTube, you can also leave a comment, the Alternative Uganda, Twitter at the Alternative Yuga, and we shall be able to respond. And I can't thank you enough for, for always being live on our shows and commenting and making it a wonderful discussion. Share the links to your people and the YouTube viewers also share the link to the people so that they can also learn from what we are discussing today. And uh, shall see you next Tuesday. And thank you, the team that I've worked with today. Uh, I can't push it anymore, but I want to say have a lovely afternoon. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk.